Hey y'all, so today is the first of what could be a, a whole series of videos, which if you like this or want me to test stuff, I want you to put down below what you think if I should keep uh, doing it or if there's a particular ammunition you might want me to uh, test. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing velocity testing on different ammunitions, primarily self-defense ammunitions, and primarily I'm going to start with 44 Magnum. And the goal is I want to do velocity testing with a practical uh, EDC CCW gun and barrel length such as this Smith & Wesson Model 69 2 and 3 quarter inch barrel. I think that's a good uh, good representation of what someone who has decided to carry 44 Magnum on a daily basis might be carrying, you know, and that's a good stand in for the uh, like, you know, your standard 686 uh, three inch deluxe that I know is quite popular and guns like that. So the first type of ammunition I wanted to test was this, the Underwood Ammunition 44 mag 200 grain hard cast wad cutter. And what they look like is this, it's just a flat wad cutter, full wad cutter. And the reason I wanted to want to test this out first was because back when I carried this gun, that was actually the load that I carried in it and the on the front of the box they advertise the uh, feet per second to be 1300 you see i have that written here i have 1300 feet per second but the thing is and i actually contacted underwood about this today so when they say 1300 feet per second uh they got that uh supposedly out of seven inch barrel so i'll be curious to go down to a two and three quarter inch barrel how much velocity you might lose and um, how comparable it might be to, you know, it, are you still getting a good bit of energy out of carrying a 44 mag? Is it lost on the shorter barrel? So with that being said, let's go out to the range and see what we can get. back from the range now something I should probably mention because I know everybody always mentions this uh, you'll see in the video where I'm kind of like bringing my arms up right as a gun fires mild it's actually a fairly mild recoil impulse with this round uh, I just kind of was bringing my arms up because especially when you're concentrating on not hitting a chronograph and you're sitting down you're not really paying attention on like managing the recoil so I found it easier just to kind of bring like let the recoil uh, ride up through your arms kind of sort of and not necessarily try and fight it so uh mild recoil now as far as numbers pretty big drop here so you look at this and starting out with the 1300 feet per second out of seven inch barrel with a two and three quarter inch barrel we drop down to an average of 1080 that's a 200 foot pound or a 200 feet per second drop that's a pretty significant drop right there um of course you're you know much shorter barrel but as far as ballistic energy, foot-pounds uh, of energy, you went from about 751 down to an average of 518. Again, that's a 233 uh, drop. That's a pretty big drop, but still no slouch. 518 foot-pounds of energy is still a very powerful round and more than capable for a self-defense situation. So, big drop, but still seems to be viable um again when you're getting into these numbers especially with a 200 grain bullet you're kind of on the edge of there might be stuff out there that uh, especially in the semi-automatic world that would be just as powerful energy wise but i consider this kind of like this is a wad cutter and it's kind of uh designed as like a a low recoil option so you're kind of at the beginnings of what i would consider decent 44 mag self-defense um so yeah i'm curious to hear what everybody thinks do you think i should keep doing this series are there other bullets that i should test is there a particular uh round of ammunition you want me to test within reason of course um i want to keep 
trying to test stuff in at least at the moment in a fort barrel yeah fort barrel what's a fort barrel a short barrel 44 magnum such as this because that's kind of what i carried for a while and i was always curious to know how much energy you get out of a two and three quarter inch barrel or a three inch barrel you know quarter inch difference we can say that uh, i can test both and I know that historically everybody says out of a 357, when you go down to a snub nose 357, you lose a ton of energy. And at least from this testing, it seems to also be uh, relevant to 44 Magnum. So yeah, let me down, let me know down below what you think. If you think there's other stuff I should test, and uh, have a good day.